Just enable them. It'll probably run at like 10, but... It'll be fine. It'll be fine. I'm doing a part two. Just an update. Um, not really a little update. Kind of kind of went uh, off the rails a bit. So, I mean, entrance is a little, a little pretty much the same. I added this staircase because I got tired of people coming into my house. Um, and, yep, got some pedestals. Uh, I did... I did pretty much every single one of these uh, neural network things, um, except the Vindicator, or not, the Evoker. That's the only one I have left because they, they're they only in raids or like mansions. Um, put Ethereal Glass so only players can walk through it. It was really funny watching the guards just like stand there for a minute. <laughs> Wish it was invisible though. but. Alas. Um, so I updated the factory a lot. Made it look a little nice. Got some paintings. Isn't that lovely? Just and I have some little extra, you know, things here just in case. You know, I was using this for oxidizing copper. I'll show you that in a minute. Um, here's my factory pack. The factory. Yeah. And I changed a lot of this around, just kind of reorganized it. I added some actual buttons so you can walk in and out. Um, um, yep, got it. I got I got them all under external storage except for um, these guys. Um, and then again, they're also like kind of useless to me. <coughs> So yeah, I was doing some uh, Silent Gear stuff, you can see that. My gold factory farm, more or less. My gold factory looking great. Um, my redstone factory looking stellar, except for I need to fix that one. But yeah, got a system for bone meal figured out. <laughs> it's just doing its thing, no problem, no problem. Uh, I upgraded my ore factory. Uh, now it looks like a huge mess. Um, and you might be wondering why I don't just fix it. Uh, so consider the following. Fuck you! Got lots of Inferium. Oh, and I don't really need as much. Uh, there's, yeah, I got some of these. I got lots of heaters. I got this thing that makes uh, charcoal. That I, it's, it's all. It's all. It's all. A, it's a factory. You know how it is. And yeah, this is. It's a blast chiller. So when I get honey, it goes in here and then becomes a honey block. Because I, I have a lot more um, physical item storage than I do. Uh, uh, not physical, but digital item storage than I do digital liquid storage. Yeah, I got this is Awaken Supremium. Awaken Supremium seed reprocessor. Got some of that. Um, here's another part to the factory. The earth essence comes in here. Jesus Christ. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> uh, and then it gets spewed out into here. Oh jeez. Okay. Alright. Pure redstone. Do I have oh wait, let's go ahead and take it off. Oops. It's supposed to come in, you know, through there, but, you know, it's not that easy, but I have, um, behind, yeah, see, I, I did some of this, so this makes, um, nether stars, because I have a nether star factory, I'll show that in a bit, and this is just here for convenience sakes, something like that, but behind this wall is a silverfish spawner it's been like maxed out or something it's been <laughs> literally min maxed um and it's it's literally just water flows into a magma block with a sign and then they die and then a hopper minecart hopper pipe and then it filters it out into here so that's how that works 
and it pushes out the hearts it's like lord knows i don't need them and then it pushes out any essence into there this is just my uh, ender chest that is the universal ore chest so this pushes out just kind of like stuff that would be beneficial if it was pulverized and then, yeah you get like enrichment chamber for the pure ores and there there's a cable that just comes out under the barrel it's a little it's a little extra but you know and then this was gonna be something else but I didn't know how it was gonna fit so I might do I might do like create with it or something I don't know yeah I've been doing um, some of the add Astra progression a bit so that's what that comes from um, I guess I'll show the upstairs the now finished upstairs Look at that. isn't that beautiful got the flooring got some beacons did spruce up the kitchen a bit. I kind of didn't like the aluminum just peeking out like that. So I, f I found out some more of these multi-block items. Um, and I've got, I don't know anything yeah, I've got. I've got a whole system coming in. So there should always be a stack of everything, hopefully. Assuming I don't make it too fast. And then I got eggs. I haven't fully done it yet still working on all that and then I'll show you I guess I'll show you the uh, mega farm shouldn't take that long to load on so I keep it I keep this lo chunk loaded because if I didn't then all right here is the mega farm it farms well, as you see another star seeds I mean, it farms just about anything you think of well for now pretty much all of the food items um, Except, yeah, the uh, the TC hop seeds because I don't know how to get those. Not that I don't have hop seeds, I have beer somewhere, but I just couldn't find it, and it was like the only thing that actually was useful. Um, and yeah, this is just this existed initially to get, remove seeds, which I mean it will <coughs> at some point. But for now, it just gets rid of like, yeah, you can you can see what it gets rid of. Just all this garbage I don't want. And yeah, that, that importer just imports everything at like hypersonic speeds. And um, and then I'll show you the current PC setup. Oh, yeah, I was doing um, let's see, yeah, I got. To that, the uh, ATM alloy blade was what this was set up for, and I was doing a bunch of elemental craft stuff, which is what all this was for. Yep. Mm, <laughs> yeah, the glow squid spawner it wasn't easy. Um, here is, I mean, this hasn't changed. I kind of just like it being there. I think it looks cool. Yeah. So. Um, Uh, I was doing a lot of loot fabrication. It was initially the best way to get iron until I actually built the factory. But yeah, you can see just how flooded it is with food items. Because I don't care. And lots of essence. Too bad I don't use essence. Well, I don't have it here. I have it off-site. Just because I thought it would be cool there. And I wanted to give it its own power source. Yeah, here's where all I keep keep a bunch of NBT stuff. Um, anything, just, just about anything with NBT I'm trying to keep in that. Just, you know, for safety reasons. Um, back here, not much has changed. Still got the nitro reactor, except for I've got coal and dry ice coming in now. Um, I keep this busy, just try to at least, but it doesn't really matter. Man, it's, it's not an easy solution. Yeah, um, I had to figure out. So any excess bone meal gets dumped out here whenever this fills up too much. So I, I try to keep it like pretty, pretty consistent. This is where I make dry ice. Uh, sticks it in there. As soon as it gets two in, freezes it, drops it in the. Well, it should, but yeah. Oops. It's, it's. I'm not very smart, 
so <laughs> yeah uh, here's the back of it. I'm just using Elite Exporters because I really don't need anything better for this because I only, I only get, yeah, 27 or whatever per cabinet, so it's it's not a huge deal. Because I still don't have like an official bedroom yet, like like a place where I can, you know, call my own. Um, I'll show off. Yep. That's what the pillar blocks are for. I'll show off my um, new awakening site. Not awakening. Um, what is it? The, uh, I don't know. What do you do for mystical agriculture? It's very cool in here. I like it. It's a very mystical feeling. See outside. I like it. I thought about using ethereal glass, but I couldn't dye it. Here is the awakening site. Pretty cool. Got the water, got the fire, water, earth, air. You know, all in their respective places. A little over the top, sure, but it's cool. And then down here is the mob factory. Where did these crystals come from? Um, and yeah, I need to fill that gap with. Dear Lord something, but yeah, this is where I enchant things sometimes when I feel like it. Drop it down, get you two extra, don't really need it, but not anymore. And then yeah, I got lapis in here. Eventually it'll just run out, that's fine. Just need to clear these out, but and here is a chicken grinder I built. Yeah, this is where I get my pink slime and I'll get sucked in and then I it gets used for uh, the third part of my factory which is for the silent gear and iridium ores um, I know it doesn't seem like much but it's a lot so uh, I guess I'll show off um, yeah, I gave this place, well, I gave um, the town a name, but I'll show off um, uh, Nightfall, which is what I decided to name uh, this area. Um, yep. Call this area Nightfall, I've got it all floored out so to speak and then I've got a wall and I'm working on the dome but keep running out of glass yeah it's not much to it at the moment but just to like give an idea of how big this is gonna be it's, it's the radius of um, whatever the conduit is roughly it's like this I like that but yeah you can already see it's starting to look kind of cool is a very like a very ethereal feeling I hope so I'll just tell the audience how to feel so, you will feel mystified by this but yeah that's all this is kind of added a few things I'm working on I haven't really been keeping up with it lately so I've got a few guys who are just like oh, I need glowstone but, I mean, they might be done, like, asking for glowstone. I think I gave it to them, but... I built this, uh, just to make dirt. So I don't think about it too much. I built a wall around most of the colony. Uh, I decided to call it Nevermelt. <laughs> it's probably, it's probably the worst time to say that, because it just looks like a grassy field, but... If you remember what it looks like up there, you'd understand, so yeah. Like it started, it started as a winter village, and it's and you're sticking with it. So it's just been a lot of maxing out, relaxing, out cool. I don't, I don't really have this area developed. It's just like a, a forest full of bees. I would like to not have so many bees. So I think if I go up here, yeah, I, I think it's fires that keep doing this. I need to get it repaired, but. Mm. Uh, 
Oyster's Hut. Yep. And then call this area, calling it when it's finished, when I inevitably, quote unquote, inevitably finish it. I'm calling it this. I can get up there. I'm calling this structure the Mega Hive, which, in case you couldn't tell, it's, it's going to be a giant bee farm. With my salt bee. I'll take it. My salt bees, uh, it's my Alamadium bees, my Vibranium bees, Wandering Trader, Draconic bees. This is just kind of, it's it's going to be a quarry bee once I, you know, got two quarry bees. It's gonna be, um, yeah, I'm just stripping out their genes. Um, yeah, I guess, the, I guess I'm not getting clay. I need clay, but this was going to be Emerald bee, but I didn't build it. Oh yeah, this is my unobtainium. This is my insanium bee farm. Oh yeah. I kind of ripped their, I ripped their genes out. And that's it. <laughs> I do that a lot. Ripping out a lot of genes. I don't rip it. It's very... It's safe. It's very safe. It's a, it's a safety uh, measure. So we get more insanium bees. Because lord knows I need more insanium. Yep, I need so much insania. Oh man, what happened here? He's been working on the composter hut, but I don't know, like, he might have finished. I gotta ask him. I don't know what he needs. Oh, he needs a red mushroom? Okay. Well,. I don't know. I don't know. Where do you get mushrooms from? I'll give him that later. Just kind of done a lot of like, little things. You know, I don't want to say that. I'm just I haven't really done a lot with the colony lately. Just kind of I just kind of want to like push it off to the side and, and do some other mods for a bit. Which, I mean, you probably can't blame me for when there's like 400 mods or whatever. It's like 350 or something, but there's still a lot. You want to do something else? Do you got anything else? But call mine colonies for a bit. But I still. Still pay attention. I think one of the last things I did was this, which is well, it's an underground little house, but he needs some work. We get the idea that the, the Harrowbrine house. It's very, it's it's quaint in here. Ain't nothing wrong with it. I think it holds three people. Because um, I actually had to go into the config file uh, and change the colony. Because it's in uh, all the mods, it's set to 50. Um, which is one-fifth of like the actual total that you can have uh, in the like mine colony's default. So I, I did change it up to 200, 250. I probably won't ever need 250 for my purposes, but no. no. Oh, my sheep have escaped. Gee, I wonder how that could have happened. Just get like a sheep spawner in there at some point. I'll get it to level 5 and give it a sheep spawner. But yeah, um... Started building. Well, I say I started, but you can already tell it's it's been a minute. So I, I built for the most part a copper wall and this um, 
stair structure, but it got blown up by a creeper at the base. I'll just like, I'll just, I'll just show you. I'm probably gonna change the uh, raw copper walls to uh, like dark prismarine. I just think it probably match a bit better. Yeah, see, it got blown up by a creeper here. I'll be able to fly around. Just give you an idea of maybe a little idea of what it looks like right now. Yeah, I built the uh, graveyard up to five. How about actually? I bet the rabbit's hutch doesn't even have any rabbits in it. I don't know. It's got rabbits. It's not a huge deal since I've got like five rabbit eggs, and I've also got like a bunch of spawners that I could make. <clears throat> yeah, this is just kind of like an undeveloped area. That, this is probably like the weaker wall side just because I got lazy with it. So you could just throw a ladder on it and then they climb up. It's like, okay. I just get tired of barbarians spawning all the time. Yep, my nether miner. I have it set to automatic because I, I'm just like, yeah, you guys can figure it out. I'm sure you'll be fine. alchemy uh, tower quote unquote right there with the residence um, which is right on top of where I live so I have to be careful yeah, I do some it makes trapdoor sounds but it's really just to like cover the fact that my wall is there just zoom out a little bit give you a little idea of the scale That's a thumbnail shot if I've ever seen one. <laughs> That's a goddamn thumbnail shot. But, you know, again, this is more something you just kind of have to, like, see with, fur like, eyes, like, new eyes or whatever. There's a lot of issues um, that I've had. Not with like anything in particular, just kind of being like, not really knowing how mods work or mods working kind of weird. Um, yeah, I built, I built the staircase. There isn't anything noteworthy over there. I guess I'll show off the sea site now. Okay, it's already nighttime over here. Uh, I call it the Rainbow Gardens. It's on a rainbow beach. Um, I guess. Well, they either died or they hatched. I'm not. I used to have turtle eggs here, but you know, I built I used some rainbow eucalyptus. They probably did die just because. Um, <clears throat> um, this is where I was doing some uh, summoning because I needed moo. Mushroom. You might be thinking to yourself, well, why didn't I just find a mushroom mill? And I did. And I didn't feel like finding another one because it didn't have any and it was too small. So I just made a place here. It looks nice. Um, so I did some Aurus, or Nature's Aura stuff. Learned a bit about that. Did some epic summoning. And I've got some phantoms on my hand. Wait, is that really where my base is? Oh no, that's just where someone got spawned in, okay. But yeah, it's it's really just a nature's ore area for right now. I wanna do some like Batania stuff here, but I yeah, I don't I'm not a I'm not too big on magic mods for whatever reason. Probably just because magic is a more foreign concept to me. So we'll go to something that makes more sense. Um so this was the uh the base. Uh, I upgraded it a little bit. <laughs> Just, just a bit. It'd be a thumbnail shot if the cow wasn't in the way. Getting photobombed by a cow, but yeah, you can kind of tell what I've been doing with it. A little walk around. You got that, the tree. I threw the um, golden leaf maker on top of it, so it's coated in golden leaves. Just thought it'd be cool. Uh, this is a Silent Gears multi-block. Uh, I forget what it's called. It's like the star. It's the material charger using the starlight. Uh, I changed my. Well, I changed it, but I, you know, it's my Twilight Forest portal for if I ever wanted to go to the Twilight Forest. 
here is my alchemistry lab. Okay, well, for when I need to do alchemistry. Which is pretty helpful, getting copper and all that. I should stick it in there and be like, ooh, copper. Uh, I was trying, yeah, I was doing this. It was the only way to actually farm it. It's literally the only way to farm it, but it's not easy. Because, because uh, you know, just like how, how these combiners work, it's a pain in the ass. But yeah, I've got both the multi blocks. I've got some very rudimentary things going on in the back, just for how alchemistry, just based off of how like the mod works and how it accepts um, things. Like if you've got two stacks of aluminum next to each other, it'll throw in two stacks of aluminum. Um, yeah, it's just a, it's a pain. Story of a lot of this mod back. Uh, here's the new building. No, no, no. It was the building I built before that one, actually. This is where I'm putting my reactor slash computer. And it, it does enough. Keeps this thing powered up. Yeah, it's, keeps it powered up. I've got so many storage disks. So I've got 4 million storage. And eventually I'll start using that disk. Eventually I'll use the disk manipulator, but, you know. Not yet. Um, that's kind of the B site, uh, except for you know, it's it's also a space station. In case that wasn't obvious, I'm trying to make this like a science R and D kind of thing instead of like a magic R and D. Um, and you've got the NASA workbench. Got, uh, well, I mean, there used to be the thing that makes oxygen here until I moved it, and this makes rocket fuel. It's the uh, oil one, the oil refining. I'd use the spaceship, but, well, I don't have a spacesuit on me, just my, my main gear. So, we'll do the much easier, less cool way of getting to the moon. Here we are. Yep, it's got everything you need. Oxygen, oxygen, Compressor, battery, ice fuel, coal generators that failed on me because I ran out of coal. Bunch of storage. Yep. Uh, yep. Just about anything you could want. What? I have moon sand. <gasps> anyway. Anyway. It's my. It's it's. I call it Turtle Dock called the uh, base, I called it Galaxy Terminal, but this is Turtle Dock, just because it's like, you know, it's like a docking station, and I, um, should be up this way, somewhere up this way, I think it's on top of this hill, yep, I have a turtle quarry, well, I would say working, but it's not entirely accurate. Got more instant the uh, I was just because I was w learning how to use turtles. That's why I called it Turtle Dock. I was initially gonna make it into a like a villager thing. Um, well, I say initially, but that's also a lie. Uh, I thought it'd be cool at some point if I tried making it into a villager thing. That was not the initial intention of this uh, add-on, it was actually more of a trophy room. Uh, and then I just kind of decided to make it more like a, kind of like a, a barracks area, a barracks slash research area, and you know, beep boop beep bop, and you do some like computering. Ooh. Hello world. Do all that coder stuff on the coding, yeah, you can see the lecterns. But then they all died. Probably cause, yeah, there's probably a way to fix that, but it's too late now. These are all dead and I don't feel like doing it. Um, that's all I have so far in this base. Uh, cause I, I, this is the second time I tried recording this. Cause I wasn't really happy with the first one, it felt just kinda like recording a wet noodle. 
Really, it really didn't feel that different uh, from my first video. Just kind of felt like very minor updates. This is definitely a lot more, um, a lot more. Yeah. Because uh, I, I just kind of, I was like, I'm gonna do a lot more. You know, so I just did a lot more, and you know, I built some factories, did some spawner stuff. I mean, it's, it's kind of hard to like. I don't know, I don't want to say, like, make it tangible about what I did, because I just kind of did a lot of, like, running around exploring. Like, the uh, Silent Gear altar I made is made out of, like, what is it, like, Mercury Stone or whatever? It's, like, Venus or whatever. And I've got um, the Jet Suit uh, from Ad Astra as well, which is made out of the, uh, the one of the ores, the late game ores, it's a late, it's a late progression ore. I, I haven't actually got the tier 5 rocket, or tier 4 rocket or whatever, just don't really care that much. Just, I kind of got what I wanted, I guess. I wanted, like, the jet suit, I guess, and, like, a space base. After I got, like, the moon uh, area, as, like, my, de as my decision. Um, yeah, I've just been working on other stuff. I'm a very, I'm a very, like, slow progress project guy so if I, if I have an idea I generally need to work it out at once or it'll take forever and if I get burnt out I'll take a break for a while you know there's a lot of stories well not a lot but there's a few stories about just kind of like me getting burnt out or need to take a break just taking forever on projects you know I work at my own pace the heck happened here oh maybe I wonder if it's like this fucking God, what the fuck happened here it actually might be the uh, Raiders I wish Ugh. looks like shit where do they come in where do the barbarians even want to fight me like what whatever they just um yeah See you next time, I guess. Actually, I don't think there's even bees here. I mean, probably. I'd, I'd assume so. Apparently, there's bees. Alright. Um. And I'll do like uh we'll do one more thumbnail shot. Um my render distance is down. Even though I upgraded my GPU, it still takes a lot of all I have running. Oh man. Um I don't know. I don't really I don't really have any like thumbnail shot where the area is except for like just the colony itself. It is a very forward-facing colony. <laughs> like it's it's there's there's like the back just kind of ends, in, like a wall. You're not really supposed to look at it from this angle. You can even tell because I had, <laughs> you can tell because I think some of that is still like fresh copper. Yeah, still got fresh copper even though I built this part like first. Did I actually finish? Oh, I guess I finished, uh, like, at least the parts that I had set out. Okay, I didn't think I did. Oh, yeah, I stopped here just because I ran out of copper again. Oh, yeah. Um. Uh, that's about it. See ya. That's what, that's what uh, Critical says. Maybe I'll get popular if I say that.